that there are a range of courses, so some level twos, some level threes. So we have English literature, English writing, and sort of like a general English. I'm a teacher of English Applied, um, which is uh, an English for students who are probably on a work pathway. Yep, so it sort of works to support um, life outside the college and also uh, vet pathways as well. English Foundations is essentially for students who are considering going on the pre-tertiary pathway for English. It sets us up for English 3 because it is a foundation course. Everything that we do in Foundations you do next year in English 3 but at a higher level so it gets you ready. I'd highly recommend doing it if you're thinking about doing English 3 in Year 12 or you already have three pre-tertiaries and you just need to get that English tick. Foundation English is also a fantastic stepping stone to English Lit or English writers in Year 12. Those who want to attempt a pre-tertiary English in Year 11 should preferably be at B or A level. You may even consider doing two English pre-tertiaries over your two years at Hillier. Regardless, all three English pre-tertiary subjects are challenging and rewarding in different ways. English 3 is a study of contemporary issues in society and we look for students to develop their understanding and their opinions about issues that they study in novels, plays or films. The teachers are super supportive, like they're always there at lunch times and during the class to give you help and extra work if you need it. I'd definitely recommend it, it's a good opportunity before going off to like uni or other work to have that foundation to get you there. The English Literature subject is a pre-tertiary level 3 subject. The whole course is designed to tell students about where ideas come from, from time. So we could go back to 1600 or 1550 or 1880 and the history of those ideas and um, what the culture was like for the author who wrote them. Um, also what the culture was like for the reader who might have dealt with those texts. So English Lit I found is really helpful for looking at more the history behind the texts and where they came from and then analysing them as well, so I've enjoyed that. My vocabulary and my language skills have really, really gone up. We really sort of focus on like, really deeper understanding about the, the text. I've enjoyed studying sort of a range of texts, like some with, as a bloke, some with a good head count like King Lear and we haven't just focused on reading books. I've actually been able to study two films. There's quite a large content load, like we are always moving on to something new, but if you stay on top of the work, it's quite manageable. My English teacher, he, he lays out a really good foundation, which is awesome, but um, like he sets you to work and it's really up to you. I actually enjoyed coming to class, which was pretty cool. Like I'm really interested in, in what we have to say and the, the in-class discussions. I would definitely recommend this course to others. Um, as I said, like, I actually enjoy coming to class and I enjoy my classes. That's actually really interesting and for everyone. English writing is for creative thinkers with a commitment to developing their ideas through sharing, discussing, workshopping and studying a range of authors, genres and writing styles. Writing involves reading, drafting and accepting feedback to produce a range of pieces for external assessment. English writing is exhilarating and exciting and there's no exam in English writing. There was a lot of different writing techniques and styles that we learned throughout the year and then at the end of the year there was a writing project you got to choose and so you could choose any style of writing you wanted to so that was uh, yeah probably my favourite part. I've done uh, second person perspective novels, poetry, um, a little bit of reflective statements and author studies. Best thing about the English writing course was probably the author study we did. We had to choose a book to read by a specific author and that was, it was very good to sort of get an, get an idea of the author's background and how their life impacted that. The skills I've developed are definitely going to help me in the future.